Hello there, I am Sachin Kulkarni from Sulanda Fertility Clinic at Pristine Women's Hospital, Kolhapur. Let me tell you some interesting facts about low sperm count. Now, about 10 to 20 percent of the couples who come to me are having a less sperm count. And how do we go about it? Frankly speaking, we investigate why this husband is having a low sperm count. And secondly, is the low sperm count temporary or is it long standing? So we do repeat counts, we do certain investigations like sonography, some hormonal tests to come to a conclusion, are we finding a reason? Sadly, about 87% of the time, we do not find a reason why the sperm count is low. In a situation like that, we have to give some empirical treatments, some antibiotics, some antioxidant agents which are rich in coenzyme Q, lycopene, carnitine or it could be folic acid, vitamin C, vitamin E, zinc and selenium. But it has been found that in spite of these treatments, the sperm counts do not make much difference. There is no much improvement seen and the evidence is not going in greatly in favor of giving these antioxidants. So the precious time is wasted. So at Sulanda Fertility Clinic, we have a different outlook towards this. I feel whenever I see a couple where a husband has a low sperm count, I would like to concentrate on the wife. I fairly understand that I may not be able to improve the count more. So let me concentrate on the wife, treatment and correcting, detecting her subtle factors which could be delaying pregnancy. And if I correct them perfectly well, even that 8 to 10, 12 million count should be adequate. So that's a radical change in the whole outlook towards treating couples with low sperm count. And it is the couple who achieves a pregnancy. It's not a blame game between the husband and wife. So uh, suppose to give an example, I have two husbands, both having a sperm count of 12 million, which ideally should be 15 million or more. So if has one husband has a wife who has low egg reserve, her antimalarian hormone level is very low, let's say less than one, and then I need to expedite my treatment or probably I may need to go for IVF or ICSI to achieve a pregnancy because I don't have much time to wait on the husband to improve the sperm count. In the second husband, uh, she, his wife is having an AMH of 4.5 and she is perfectly normal, regularly menstruating and I have all the time in the world to treat that husband, give something so that the couples has more amount of number of sexual activities, they can spend some time together, they can go for one or two years more. The wife is not going to be decreasing her ovarian reserve drastically and her chance that couples natural chance of pregnancy could be very high. So even in couples who have low sperm count, it is the wife and wife's fertility profile which has to be tested upon and corrected upon so that to get a better pregnancy rate. Thank you.